Good morning, you guys. Hello, hello. Um, so I'm sitting in front of my window right now because, uh, as some of you know, I live in horse and buggy country, which is absolutely incredible. Like, there's horses and buggies that go by all the time. So if there's one that goes by today, I'm going to switch you over really fast and show you that because I don't know about you, but I'm a little crazy for horses. Um, which actually I have to give my mom some props when I was little because when she was house shopping for the first house that we would own, she actually made sure, hey Mark, good morning. Um, my mom actually made sure that she bought a house that was across the street from horses so that I could go pet horses every day. So good morning, <clears throat> Mark. I'm sitting in front of my window right now so that uh, if a horse and buggy goes by, I can show you. The little thing I wanted to talk about today uh, was about making love a part of your every day. So back history, my husband and I, we fought for eight years straight. We haven't had a fight in four years. We make out every single day. There is not a day that goes by that we are not making out. And like, honestly, like, like not just the quick little kisses, long, lingering, counting the seconds as they go by kind of kisses after 13 years and what kind of makes me a little bit sad good morning Nicole talking about love today talking about making love part of your everyday and and what makes me sad is when I tell people yeah we, you know it's 13 years down the road and we make out every day and it's a surprise and I don't think it should be I really don't. I think what my husband and I have is what everyone should have. Um, and and coming from eight years of fighting to this kind of relationship is absolutely possible for everybody, starting with choosing the right partner, obviously. But then it goes into your behaviors. How do you cultivate that once you choose the right partner? Because that's only half the battle. And the way you do it is by making sure that every day you do it. And so every morning before my husband goes to work, I give him a very long, lingering kiss. And he appreciates that because his love language is physical affection as well as mine. So it doesn't have to be kisses with your partner. It can really just be, you know, whatever it is the love language is of the person that you care about. So understand how people in your life like to be loved and then do that a little bit every day and then what it does is it ripples out and it really makes love a part of your every day because there's an infection that goes on and you've created more love inside of yourself you created more love inside of that person and you're going to radiate that for a while and that's the most amazing thing because I'm going to tell you every time I do those kisses and those hugs with my husband I carry that with me for a little bit and anybody who comes across me is going to get a little bit of that as it comes off of me. So hopefully you're going to use those words and change a little bit of your behavior going forward and add a little bit more love into your everyday. I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.